this video I'm going to show you how to process protein circular dichroism spectra using the CD Tool X software. The CD Tool X interface comprises three tabs. The default view shows the plot window and a list of the loaded spectra on the left. Below this are buttons which allow you to carry out operations and change the views. The database tab contains functions for archiving your processed data in a MySQL database and the SVD tab enables singular value decomposition of datasets. The database and the SVD functions are described in other videos which you can access from the CD Tools website or from the help menu. In this video I'll demonstrate how to process data. Navigate to the raw data files and select them. I've selected uh, three repeats of the sample data and three repeats of the baseline data. The default view in the plot window is of the smooth CD data. You can also view the unsmooth data and the HT signal by using this toggling system. Select three baseline files and click on the average button or use Ctrl and A on the keyboard. Now, now average the sample data. Toggle off the raw data or delete it. You can delete files by selecting the files in the list. Right click and choose delete or press Ctrl D on the keyboard. Now subtract the baseline spectrum from the sample spectrum. Select the sample spectrum, then select the baseline and click subtract. If required the data can be zeroed at high wavelengths. Select the data, press zero. The default wavelength range for zeroing is 265 to 270 nanometers. Uh, you can alter this if you wish. You can now save the spectrum. Baseline subtraction can be performed on multiple spectra if they have the same baseline. Select the average sample data and choose subtract multiple files from the spectrum menu. Then enter the number of the baseline spectrum shown in the left hand column of the file list. Choose Save Multiple Spectra from the File menu. Files are saved as .gen files which can be easily opened in spreadsheet programs such as Excel. Each file contains a header which contains the metadata which can be augmented in a wizard within the program itself. I'll show you how to do that in a subsequent uh, video. The, col the data columns are wavelength, unsmooth CD data, HT signal, the smooth CD data. The fifth column isn't used in this particular version of the program. The sixth column is the error, and this is a standard deviation between repeat scans of both sample and baseline. And this final column isn't used either. The error bars can be displayed on the plot. Select the spectrum which will turn blue when selected. Right click and choose show error bars from the menu. There's a choice of 1 to 5 standard deviations and any wavelength interval. To remove the error bars, right click and choose hide all error bars. Now the data can be scaled to standard units of delta epsilon or mean residue ellipticity which are independent of concentration, optical, cell path length and the molecular weight of the protein. Select the spectrum, choose scale to delta epsilon or MRE in the spectrum menu. Then in the dialog box enter the concentration in mg per mil, the uh, cell path length in millimetres and the mean residue weight in daltons. 
In this example, the spectrum is scaled to delta epsilon units, but there is also the choice of mean residue ellipticity. You can also calibrate the spectrum using a spectrum account for sulfonic acids or its ammonium salt. Calibration is described in, in the first video of this series. Open the appropriate CSA file and find the CD values of the 290 and the 192 peaks. You can zoom into the peaks using the mouse wheel and you hold down the left mouse button to drag with you. Double click the plot to reset the view. Select the spectrum and choose Calibrate with CSA from the Spectrum menu. In the dialog box, enter the concentration of the CSA, the path length of the cell used, and the two peak values. Note the 192 value must be negative. If you right click the spectrum in the file list and choose show data you can view the data file. The units and the calibration points are recorded in the header. All of these processes can be performed on multiple files.